On this early fall weekend, a lot of Americans are seeing the worst nature has to offer, from a blast of crippling snow in South Dakota to a tornado outbreak in Nebraska and Iowa. All of this as Tropical Storm Karen remains on track to bring potentially flooding rains along parts of the Gulf Coast. Our colleagues at the Weather Channel are tracking it all, and Jim Cantori joins us now from Pensacola, Florida, with the latest. Jim. Yeah, good evening, Lester. Behind me, of course, you can see the massive waves that are coming in from Karen. All this, uh, of course, masked by what has been a beautiful day here at Pensacola Beach, while other parts of the country have not been so lucky. Massive wedge tornado. Destruction across Nebraska and Iowa as at least nine powerful tornadoes, some a mile wide, ripped through rural towns. In Wayne, Nebraska, an EF4 tornado with winds up to 200 miles an hour wiped out a dozen homes and businesses. 15 people were injured. At daybreak, the mayor and residents assessed the damage. Just get this feeling that you've been punched in the gut. Um, a lot of people's hard work um, is destroyed this morning. Sifting through belongings. You live in Tornado Alley. I mean, I picked up stuff from my buddies. Now it's my turn, I guess. It all happened so fast. Russ Urbane was working at a John Deere dealership when they saw the storm approach. And by the time we got to the bathroom, the building was falling down around us, and there was nothing we could do. The other part of the storm system left dozens of cities paralyzed in the west. A lot of snow, no power, very cold house. In South Dakota, more than 80 people were stranded in their cars as heavy snow and 70 mile per hour winds made highways impassable. 400 miles of highway shut down across the region. Snowfall records were shattered. Lead South Dakota got 43.5 inches. In Rapid City, 19 inches. The old record was 1.4 inches for the day. Trees still full of leaves pulled down power lines throughout Wyoming and the Dakotas leaving 50,000 residents without electricity and heat. I don't have a generator. I don't know what we're going to do. It's kind of a bad situation. This was all one big weather system that came in across the Pacific Northwest. The cold side of a big surface low had blizzard conditions. The east side tapped Gulf of Mexico moisture, very warm, very unstable. A lot of tornadoes, some of them very strong. Meanwhile, the Gulf is bracing for Tropical Storm Karen. A mandatory evacuation remains in effect for Plaquemines Parish in Louisiana. Large parts of the area are still recovering from Hurricane Isaac a year ago, and there are no levees in place to protect that part of the parish. And as the snow winds down, the severe weather continues tonight. We have currently tornado warnings in Illinois, Kentucky, as well as into Tennessee. So tornadoes entirely possible there. The track in terms of Karen and its closest approach to us will be tomorrow. You see it coming into southern Louisiana tonight, but weakening to a tropical depression, still rain, wind, and the dangerous surf like you see behind me, certainly possible as we head through the day on Sunday. Lester, back to you. Jim Cantori tonight, thank you. We want to turn now to the latest.